everybody on YouTube again. This is Brandon Parker uh, with his part two of his uh, tutorial and his tips and tricks. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, a little bit more on Sony Vegas, a little bit more how to use it. Um, just one tip uh, off the bat for right now. Uh, for those who are having trouble in Sony Vegas getting their AVI files to work correctly and they're not working for whatever reason, you might need to download some codecs that uh, are able to get it to work into Sony Vegas. You might need the codec pack. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. You might need like the XVID, but I get the codec pack so that all your uh, AVI files could work for sure in Sony Vegas. Um, uh, you can just go on Google to search for them, but to make it easier, I'll just give you a link in the description to one of them, and that should help you to get AVI files to work. If not, you might have a bigger problem. Just tell me what it is, and I'll try to help you out there as best as I can. I know uh, that uh, there's many different things that uh, could go wrong with Sony Vegas and depends on what settings you have on your computer so it's kind of hard to uh, uh, know what your problem is. You just have to tell me exactly what your problem is and I will try my best to help you out there. What I'm going to do is show you a, a little bit more on how to use the masking tool the event pattern and crop and how to uh, do some different things in there and a little bit on uh, on uh, adding videos on top of each other the cool tricks that you can do in there that I didn't show you my first two Sony Vegas tutorials um okay let's go to movies I'm going to import uh, let's see new movies and I'm going to go right into okay this clip right here I'm going to import that. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, import media and I'm going to import a song. Go to, okay, computer. And I'm going to go to, let's go to desktop. I'm going to go to music collection. I'm going to go to mix of different. Saved. And I'm going to probably do, let's see, Linkin Park reanimation paper cut. Because I'm thinking about doing a video to this movie, and this might be the song. I don't know. You can tell me if it's a good song or not. I've been getting some, uh, like, people telling me that I'm using, like, the song choices that I've been using are, are too, 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 too strong for my videos. But I've been trying to do something different. But what, you can just give me a suggestion instead of if you have a good suggestion on a better song or whatever. And, uh like see right in here like I'm going to show you how to uh, and add another video track insert video track I'm going to show you like another trick that I taught myself uh, let's go into the switches event pan and crop and I'm going to do the masking tool a little bit show you how to cut around what you want to cut out and stuff I'm going to try to uh, uh, do it a different way I'm going to get uh, a picture like import media. I'm gonna go to computer and I'm gonna go to this and I'm gonna go to pictures. Okay, let's go to okay, let's see what picture do I want. Let's see what's a good picture. Try one of these. It's just any it's just whatever picture. And this is a pretty good picture to try and do. Okay, and I'm going to like when you have a picture and it's not to the exact size, you can always do the same thing that you want to do with your video to get it to your project size. You just go to maintain aspect ratio, uncheck that, and it'll be to your project size. And then next, what you do is you go into this button, event pan and crop, and you go and you uh, make sure these are uh, unchecked and that you could change them around a little bit so that it doesn't so it could be easier to mess around with your project or whatever you're working with on your picture and I'm just going to do this not make it a hundred percent perfect because it'll take too much time on the video it's uh, YouTube only allows 10 minutes so I try to not make this tutorial so long and I'll just give you the gist on how to uh, mask out uh, what you want to take out of the what you want in the video you might have to play around with it a little bit I know you're gonna have a little bit of it showing but 
you can get it to as best as you can to what you're looking for. <clears throat> okay, there, 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 there. Okay, go there. I'm gonna go here, there. Okay, and there it is. It's not a hundred percent perfect, but that's pretty good just for this picture. Oh, just for this tutorial, anyway. And um. I'm going to, okay, now I'm going to go back into the position, and I, I'm going to uh, zoom out right in here, and I'm going to like make him a little smaller, a little skinnier and stuff, you can do so many things with the masking out too, or whatever you want to cut out. Uh, and when you're trying to do it in an actual video instead of a picture, it's kind of harder to do because uh, they move a lot, and and then it'll look a little, uh, a little look funny. Uh, masking tool is mostly perfect for like doing pictures and stuff. If you're trying to do like a video clip or whatever, you it have to be if the the person is just in a in a like a still position where the person is not really moving. If you slow the picture down or whatever, you slow the motion. Uh, I mostly do the masking tool for like pictures and stuff if I want a picture on top of the video clip or whatever, whatever you're working with. And and if you want something like this, if you want a, a picture in front or whatever, whatever you're trying to do, it's all what you're trying to do with Sony Vegas and stuff. And and in uh, part one of this tutorial, I showed you how to do color. And there's another way to get color. If you have the new blue effects, which I'll be putting in the description to get the new blue effects, you could get color another way. I would do uh, like let's see. I would get the new blue film pro. That's a, uh, in the video effects. I'd get the film pro, and I drag one of these colors onto here, whatever color you want. And then you can always change the settings to a different color, whatever color you want to change. If you want to change the color of what you're working with there. I'm just going to delete this because I don't really want to work with this right now. Okay. And I'm going to put the effect and show you that you can get a color a different way with the new blue effects. You just like change to whatever color you want. I'm going to do this uh, dark blue. And I'm going to have it like the tint. I'm going to have it right there and just have the saturation to like about negative 50. And then I'm going to go to the brightness diffusion to right about there and then cut out what I don't want to use let's go like right in here okay go to cut this cut this okay and then uh, I'm going to zoom in on my clip if I showed you my first very first Sony Vegas tutorial how to zoom in, you just go and click this to zoom in or click this to zoom out. It shows you right there. And I'm going to uh, delete exactly what I don't want to use, which is right in here. Okay. Just make sure that I go to cut. And my, uh, uh, you know, my commands are a little bit different because I have a Mac computer. So I, I, do stuff for, uh, differently with my Mac, but in, in Windows, like if you want to split, it's the S button, and it's still the same with the Mac a little bit. There's not that much uh, difference with the commands, but like I would have to go to Control Command and then click to uh, make it smaller on a Mac, or speed up the the clip if you want to make it faster or slower, or whatever. I have to do Control Command for Mac users, and it's just Control Left Click for PC users to uh, do that to speed it up and slow it down. I already showed you that in my first tutorial on Sony Vegas but uh, I just wanted to tell you again and to clarify some things that you might have not caught in my first tutorial. I know uh, there's a lot of problems that you can get with the lagging as well if you're like adding different effects you just uh, highlight it. You just go right in here and you highlight your clip 
okay once you highlight it you press shift B after you ha have highlighted your clip and you press shift B and it'll uh, render your video or whatever whatever the effects are. every time you put an effect you're gonna have to do this if you don't want the lagging and it'll do like a small portion of it, it won't do like the whole clip it might do like nine seconds or ten seconds or whatever it depends on what you're doing like here, it only hey, did honey, like five or six actually, seconds of the clip. I just wanted to let you know that our son is going. To and whatever you're working with. Uh, 